Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to Jackpot with your days. For those of you who do not know what this channel is all about, this channel is all about providing you information on how you can achieve your Jackpot plan to Portugal, to Austria, and all the beautiful European countries where we believe that uh, you are going to have a beautiful relocation experience. And uh, for today, the opportunity I want to talk about is relating to Austria. Now, for those of you who already have admission in Austria or who are seeking to get admission in one of the universities in Austria and are looking for the step-by-step -step process to be able to verify your document, legalize and authenticate them at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Ministry of Education and their embassy in Abuja. This video is particularly for you now because I believe that after getting admission, one of the important steps that you have to also go through is the verification authorization and legalization of your document at the um, uh, uh, austrian embassy in abuja so that's why i want to talk about the step-by-step -step procedure that you have to take uh that you have to you know go through and of course the documents that are very essential to be able to go through these steps now uh, the Austrian embassy, for those of you who are considering um, a student visa, student visa is a long, uh, is a long term uh, visa. So uh, that means you have to go to the um, Austrian embassy in Abuja to be able to submit your documentations for uh, uh, legalizations and verification. So now the first step you need to do is to first authorize your document. This uh, authorizing your, do your document is, uh, uh, is is a step that you have to go through with the Ministry of Education and Ministry of Foreign Affairs for them to stamp your document. So, and by document, I'm talking about your transcript, I'm talking about your O level, I'm talking about your uh, um, um, transcript certificate. And so, of course, if you, it depends on the type of degree that you gain admission for and that you are considering to relocate to Austria for, that's what will determine the type of document that you will take to the um, foreign affair or embassy for legalization so for bsc you'll be considering your birth certificates your uh, o level so and for msc you know um your birth certificates your o level your um uh, tr your transcript your certificate these are the document that you would first take to ministry of education and foreign affairs to authorize we call it authorization they will have to stamp it that this is a genuine document then this same document is what you will now take to the ministry of very uh sorry uh to that you will now take to the embassy and you know uh getting to embassy these days is by appointment so which means Austrian embassy only works with appointment. So the earliest time you book appointment, the better for you. Like I said, the uh, like I said in my previous video, the minimum time, the minimum year I, I would have landed, I would have been in. It is what actually discouraged me from ending up in Austria because when I got to the embassy, I only found out at their embassy that the minimum time or minimum month that it takes for them to verify your document through their law firm is three months and i got there very late so i had no three months to you know to to submit and you know have them to verify so that was what discouraged my plan for that year when i was planning to go to austria for my phd now so uh, you when you ha when you are finished authorizing your document you take you book appointment and then you take uh, your document to the um, austrian embassy for verification and legalization so like i said depending on the type of degree that you are going to to uh, austria with that's what will determine the type of document that you will go there with so uh, uh bsc msc phd so generally depending on the type of program so uh for bsc you will need your own level very important and best certificate for msc you will need your own level best certificate uh degree trans degree transcript and degree uh certificate for phd a combination of what I've said earlier is what you will need to take your um um your your to take these documents to the embassy for so depending on the type of degree that is what will determine the type of certificate that and I need to also mention based on experience and my discussions with a friend that is currently there for your birth certificate if you are going there for degree make sure if your birth certificate is not a document issued to you from the birth ask your parents this information if it is not a document issued to you from birth ensure that you take this birth certificate to um, 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 any court 
of um, you know any court close to you for them to notarize or authenticate it with the court stamp on it so that the embassy will be able to accept them from you otherwise you might get sent back and you have to go back to the pool and start looking for another appointment date for you to be able to go uh, uh, I mean, or achieve your jackpot plan. So now, uh, when you submit your document for verification, uh, the the minimum time, like I said, is three months. So that is why you have to start early. This is the best time of the year to start all your jackpot plan. So when you submit this document for verification, the minimum amount that the um, um, the embassy will take from you to pay the law firm to authenticate is two hundred thousand naira. I only know about naira because I mean I can't I, I don't know because they are the embassy the Austrian embassy in Abuja is. Um, is uh, is uh, is echo passing of some other ECOWAS countries like Ghana, like I think Cameroon, Benin, and some Togo country and Togo and other and other African countries. So so which means you don't expect to only see a Nigerian uh, student alone in at the Austrian embassy. There are many. With last time I went there, there are many uh, um, um, uh, ECOWAS country that came in to submit for visa application. So. Um, 200,000 Nigerian Naira is what I know that it is fixed price cash you will pay to the the minute you submit those documents for them to go verify you will pay cash to them that is what I know about Nigerian Naira I don't know the value for other you know country currency now so and like I said minimum of three months I don't know maximum so just pray to God that when they go verify your birth certificate your parents don't so they don't say that they don't know you when they, when they go to your school to verify your degree certificate and all of those things you don't have any issue so as long as they go to each of these places uh, and they they, they they don't have any e cops in any one of those areas you don't have any issue so you are good to go now um and so i've, I've talked about a birth certificate if it is not issued from the from the time of birth by the local gov by your local government you have to go notarize or authenticate them in any court close to you now when embassy comes back and say that oh yes all your document that you have submitted to go to embassy uh, sorry to go to austria are uh, legit so it's good to go now let's go let's move forward to legalization each of these document for instance your o level if you are going for bsc your degree your transcript all your transcript all your certificates and your certificates also include your o level so if you have gce o level whatever degree or sorry whatever uh, certificates that you are using to go for your degree. This is these are some of the documents that you will legalize. Now, the last I check, legalization fee is eight eighty euro. So that's we they charge you in euro, but you will be charged. They, they tell you in euro, but you will be charged the corresponding value in naira. So depending on the exchange rate at that time, that is what. So if you are if you need to submit four documents for legalization, that is eighty times four times the value. Of that's 80 euro in your currency. So I'm not talking about only Nigeria now because I know a lot of ECOWAS country um, applicants or international students are looking at this video. So it's not only about Nigeria alone. So it, you so you will be able to do the math in your country currency. So now when en um, embassy comes back, like I said, and ask you to uh, come for uh, legalization, this is what the uh, uh, document. This is the document that uh, they will uh, ask you to, the, to. They will ask you to legalize. So, like I said, now when you're when they've legalized in the process of legalizing this document, you will also be required to submit for what is called residence permit. Now, how does the, what does that mean? Residence permit is a document that will be issued from the city in austria where you are going to study it's a document that will be issued to you by the um uh, by the people in charge of it so uh every every city have their own mayor or have their own um consular let me use the word consular because you know it's mainly in portugal but every city have their own mayor or um, have their own um, a representative, government representative that will also go to your school to go verify your admission, your enrollment, and all of those things to make sure that you are you have you have an admission in that place. So when 
your document comes back this is usually very fast within two weeks you get response because you know uh it's very fast so the most the, the lengthy part of it is the verification of your document from the law firm so once that is done then the rest is very, getting your visa getting your residence permit are very are very fast so and like last i heard with your residence permit if everything is done very fast within two weeks you hear back from them that oh your residence permit is approved now come and submit for visa application now these are the documents that you need to submit for your residence permit now uh your uh, admission uh proof of enrollment your degree certificate your degree transcript now, your proof of accommodation, I heard that they don't collect uh, uh, bookings of hotel and the likes from in Austria. They don't collect it. There are many websites that give you contracts for maybe temporary contract for like three months. You book a temporary contract for them in the city of your school. You book a temporary contract for three months or four months or six months, depending on what your budget can carry. You book a temporary contract and these are the documents. So which means your accommodation, then most importantly, your proof of funds please don't submit any proof of funds that you cannot defend last i heard they will ask you some of these questions like oh this money got to your account so date how tell us how you were able to afford 10 million for instance in your account 15 million in your account what property do you have what job what is your annual income so whatever lump sum you put into your account you must be able to justify and if you have corresponding document to justify this lump sum you must be able to provide it in your document so don't submit any proof of funds that you that will you know put you into trouble so you have stressed yourself to get to that stage and at the end of the day they just discover that oh your story is not aligning your story is not straight so submit a proof of funds that you can justify how it's got into your account either your father uh, gave it to you and of course you, you can also show some corresponding work that your father does is he a, a civil servant is does he own a company does he run a company where does he get the money your mother where does he get the money to be able to afford to sponsor you or send that kind of money in your account you must be able to provide a proof of this so you must be able to prove each of the money that you send into your account or that somebody sent into your account you must be able to prove this of course they also accept sponsorship if your father mother or sister can you know write a sponsorship letter for you notarize it in any court of your choosing add it add your bank certificate bank transcript sorry uh, sorry uh, uh, um um statement of account that's what i wanted to say not bank transcript so statement of account add it there and of course show proof what works do they do that they are able to gather all this kind of money and add it to your account now so that is that is that so and like i said once you submit for residence permit they take it to the city where your school is to go verify if you truly have admission and based on the document that you have submitted do they also have the same thing every document you submit will be verified so you know your whole level your birth certificate they will interview your parents so if you have a beef or issues with your parent or your parent does not agree with your jackpot plan austria they will go verify all these things and if your parents say oh no i don't support that you know that's where your issue will start so make sure that uh, your parents are in alignment with your jackpot plan so yes and uh, once they they issue you the residence permit within two weeks they call you like, oh your residence permit is ready now come and submit for visa application visa application is very fast and in fact uh, within a week you get called that your visa is ready come and pick up your visa because the majority of the steps the majority of what takes the time has been done that those are the verifications and the legalizations the residence permit within two weeks you get your response from everybody that i know that in austria within two weeks or thereabouts you get your response then the the uh, they ask you to come for visa application you submit your visa application so and within a week you are uh, they, they will let you know that your uh, visa is ready so these are some of the documents that you will need so there are many airbnb in austria Oh, sorry uh, online that you can you know negotiate with and tell them no i want to book you for three months and i need you to issue me a contract these accommodation documents are part of the document that you will submit to be able to uh get uh, your residence permit issued to you now um so let me give you another tip so I, I think i've said this earlier let me just add it again so 
your proof of funds i'm saying it again because we've had cases where you know in uk they are, they are battling with it now your proof of funds make sure you are able to prove every cent every cobble every naira every money in your account you're able to prove it and then at least within two to three months let this money be already showing in your account and try to have documentations proof if it is a land property that you sold have a, a, a copy of the receipt if it is your car that you sold have a copy of the receipt if it is show proof of transactions that is uh, the, the 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 white believes a lot in integrity of everything so you must be able to show proof you must be able to explain you know explain everything how did you arrive at this figure how did you accumulate this wealth uh, is it your own they will ask you is this money your own if you tell them your own good fine now show proof how did you do it? What work were you doing? What company do you run? Show proof of certificate, certificate of registration of the company, annual income, and all of those things. Show proof. So, and then, um, so that is that is that is the step by step procedure for you to be able to verify your document at the um, Austrian embassy in Abuja so that you can move to Austria and don't forget like I said you can now move to Austria with your family as long as you can show sufficient proof that you'll be able to take care of them within six months that you get into Austria or within one year that you get into Austria before you you know uh, start working or engaging in professional activities when you get to Austria so yes and that is that of course if you have any questions any concerns any other follow us on all our social media on our telegram group follow us on i mean send us an email so that we'll be able to answer each of your questions but of course let's 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 ask relevant questions not questions that have has already been dealt with on a video because we have a lot of people asking questions but some of those questions has already been answered in a video but because they don't want to do research they don't want to go online to do some of this research they they keep asking them and they keep complaining that they don't get response we only respond to questions that are relevant to your jackpot plan but of course you know majority of those questions when you come to the telegram group anyway we answer them so yes Thank you very much once again. Like and subscribe to our channel so that by the time we come your way with relevant Jackpa opportunities that will help your Jackpa plan, you will be the first to get notification. We are now on Facebook, on Instagram, on, on, on TikTok. You can like and follow us there. We drop tips and information as we see them uh, relevant to your Jackpa plan. Thank you very, very much for listening once again. I really, really appreciate your time. Bye-bye.